Hey, Boker Tov, today's staff is staff. You at Dalit Inc. Suba says we learned for four Shalim Piyos, but you have been Chani Chana, Lazar Ben Ruma, and for the injured passenger on the bus yesterday in the incident here near remote. <clears throat> at the bottom of you, give them the base, the very last line. Ahu Oros Farusoso, the Oslo Kamen of Yosef. Two fian- a fiance, right? The fiance, her, her and him, they were both fiancés. They came before of Yosef, and she was obviously with child. She said, well, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not, we're not married yet, but he did it. My, my fiance did it. And he said, yeah, he also agreed. Amr says, what's the concern over here? Obviously, they weren't supposed to have Bia yet, but there's no concern of a mamzer if everybody agrees that it's his kid. He's Moda. He admits that it's him. But oh, we had yesterday, the three, three Mishnayas, that where there's a question about um, uh, even case like or Misham Gimlam and Aleph who said she's pregnant and uh, who is it? He says, well, it's a, it's a kosher guy. Okay, then she was single. Gamaliel says, we believe her. So, even if what? Even if he's not Moda. Number one, he's Moda. The fiance's Moda that it's his. So we know whose it is. And number two, says that you just believe her alone. I'm like Abaya, Uvaki Loma Moda. Here, if the fiance, if he would not be Moda, he would not admit that it's his. Mashim Mulil would real agree that the child is kosher. Amalei Shmuel of Yehuda, Shmuel said to Yehuda, we had this Shinana, you smart kid. Did you believe her? But the Admo Tavit Uvda Adi Ikarov Ksheretzla, but you shouldn't pass can halacha lemaisa until most of the people around her are kosher. In other words, that the majority says that whoever impregnated her was a person who's kosher to marry, uh, you know, somebody who's kosher uh, to marry a woman. And if he would marry a woman, that woman would not be permitted from marrying a Cohen. Rov Cherin means that, that, you know, that she's, uh, she, that most of the people she would have married would not have ruined her from marrying a Cohen. Here, most of the people are forbidden to her. Why? Because she's engaged. <laughs> she's engaged to this guy. She's not a Rusa. So everybody in the world is forbidden to her. So number one, you say, said, listen, it wouldn't be that he's Moda. You say, you said two things. Number one, he's Moda, the fiance is Moda that it is. Number two, we pass her from Belial, you believe her. Oh, would, would we pass her from Belial in this case? We said before, Shmuel said, uh, Shmuel said to Rabbi Yehuda, a smart one, that Allah is like Mulil, but you shouldn't pass in that way unless it's Rov Sheirin. So remember we had yesterday that Mulil Paskins, that we believe her, even if it's Rov Sulin But over here it's Rov Sulin and you shouldn't pass in Allah that way. So says, well, to understand, what do, you, what do you mean, what is that Lushan? And he, according to your Svara, that you don't pass in like Mulil uh, if it's Rov Sulin, you can ask that cash yourself. Number one, you say, Halacha. Mulil says, even if it's rope soon, it's law, you believe her, right? And then you say, uh, you shouldn't pass in that way unless there's a unless it's rope shaver, unless the majority of people are kosher. And here, most of the people, yesterday we were talking about a single girl. So the question is, are most of the people around her kosher, meaning they wouldn't forbid her from marrying a coin if they slept with her, or not kosher? But over here, everybody's not kosher because she's engaged. She can't marry anybody else. Is this in order to get her suitable? In order to let, whether she no, no, no. The question is about no, 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 no. They're not arguing at all. The the, the issue here, the issue, issue here is who, with the child. The issue is the status yeah, of the child. What's, what's the oh, so that's what he said. He said because he said Rabbi Yosef said nothing to be concerned about. Number one, she's motivated. Number two, even if she wouldn't, even if even if he wouldn't be motivated, that it's his. Let's say he's arguing and saying, hey, look, she's pregnant. It's not mine, right? Who do you believe? And Malil says, you believe her. So, they, so, so what are you worried about? Number one, he admits it. Number two, even if he wouldn't admit it, uh, we, we, uh, we pass like a Malil, you believe her. Okay, so right, that you believe her because she knows she knows who impregnated her. Uh, so the Gemari asks now, so Abayi said, wait a minute. It, if he wouldn't be Moda, were Malil really passing in this case? We passed and we said before that even though the halachas are real, you shouldn't do halacha lemaisa until it's rov shemir etzla. So your second argument, just arguing about your second argument, is not valid. You're right. He's motivated that it's his, and therefore it's, there's no problem over here. They're not arguing. They're just saying everybody's asking you. You're walking around. You're not even married yet. Why are you pregnant? So she says, don't worry, it's his, and he admits that it's his. Okay, fine. It's all good. 
And secondly, we believe her anyway, even if he wouldn't admit it. What do you mean? We wouldn't admit it here. And Leo said, we pass, even though we pass like Leo, you shouldn't pass Malach in a way. So the Mars, what do you mean? If you pass like Leo, why do you say you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, do Halacha Lamaisa that way? What do you have to say? When Leo says that you believe her, that's Bidiyavad. In other words, if she married a Kohen and didn't ask you, but Lachachila, we wouldn't allow her to marry a Kohen. Even in Gamaliel, who said before that we believe her, Roma de Beres, or Rua Haisim of Beres, Roma Tibisho is that Mishnah of the Kohen. Leo says, no one, she's believed if she married a Kohen. But Lachachila, we wouldn't tell her to marry a Kohen unless it's Rove Sherinet's love. The Maishal Maimer, Halachachila had the Evid, Lohanami Kiddi Evid, dummies. The first talk about why is that Kiddi Evid? Rashi is Lohanami Kiddi Evid, Shinasabra. Right, that's the issue over here, right? We're not talking about getting divorced or married. He admits that it's his. That's the, the story is he admits that it's his and everybody's happy. They're happy, right? But you want to pass the over la asra ala oristim. Why? Because this is like the other, because she's, she, we said before, when Leo, when is he, he says you shouldn't get married. If, if she comes in Ba, a coin comes to ask you, he says, can I marry this woman? You know, she was pregnant before from some guy or she was seen in seclusion with some guy. So we tell him you shouldn't marry her, right? Unless maybe it was Rov Sheremnet's love. But if she married a Kohen already, we don't uh, we don't dismiss, we don't marry. This is also like the Ebed because she's already pregnant and now you want to passel the Uber. And don't forget, if you passel the Uber, you also are saying Rashi says, well, Oza Loris, the Ime not if you don't believe her, you got to say that she committed adultery. If you don't believe her that it's his, that it's the fiance's, you're saying effectively she had to be with somebody else, which means she can't stay with her husband anymore. She's a, she's an adulteress. She's a sota. That's what we're saying here. So dummy, and therefore we allow it. So therefore, that's the argument. Number one, he admitted it that it's his, so there's no issue over here. But number two, even if he wouldn't have admitted it, since it, we would pass him like we're even though you say you shouldn't, but over here it's like the She's already married to the guy. She's already pregnant. So if she's pregnant already, this is like it. This is not like the Dieva where the coin asks you, but if she's pregnant and you want to ruin the Uber and say the Uber is a mamzer and and possible on her husband, so that's the Dieva, therefore we would go like a mulio. So there was no issue over here. He admitted it, and even if he wouldn't admit it, we would agree with her also. Rami Leah by Laraba, or Laraba, Rab, I asked this question. We had yesterday, Rami says you believe her. Rabbi Shua says you don't believe her. We don't live by her word. We don't live based on her word. But rather, if she's a Ba'ula, she's Becheska's Ba'ula, if she was seen in seclusion with somebody, certainly if she was pregnant, we assume that she was Ba'ula from somebody who was not kosher and she can't marry a coin. That's what Yeshua says. We don't live by her word. She's Becheska's, uh, we don't believe her in these all these cases. So if I ask Rabbi the following question, Yeshua really said she's not believed, Raminu. Ask the following question. We have a price which says as follows, or it's a mission edios. Hey, Rabbi Shua, Rabbi Yehuda, Seirim. They gave testimony. Rabbi Shua was one of the two who gave testimony. A real case. Al Almanas Isa she cheril Isa means dough. Over here, Almanas Isa means she's of mixed or or questionable lineage. There's a mixture over here. What's going on? So he says that Almana and Isa she can marry a coin. What do we mean by that? What's the case of Monasisa? Here's the here's the case. Listen, listen to this. Uh, uh, listen to this complicated case. A lady was thrown a get by her husband through the get, and it went between them. And you're not sure. We have this uh, more in Getin. In, in we have it other places. You know, we will have it. Did did it? Uh, we learned it in the past. Did do we? Did it? Did it get closer to her or closer to him? If when he threw it, it's closer to her to him. She, she didn't get a get. If it was closer, it's a get. So now this woman is questionable whether she got a get. Then the husband died. Is she an almana or a grusha? We don't know, okay? Now she married a coin. If she's a grusha, the child is a halal, right? But maybe she's not. So this child is questionable halal. Now, right, now, so, we don't we don't know if he's a halal not. So he said this Almana of Anisa, and now this questionable halal married somebody, right? And if halal marries a woman, she becomes halala, right? She's also becomes a halala. 
So he says over there, it's a suffix, and therefore Rabbi Yudah says, Rabbi Yeshua said, it's a suffix, she's kasha lakuna. Kasha lakuna. Rashi says, she bamikov suffix halal, kill a command. She did the base of suffix halal. There was a there was a question about her suffix halal. You go, she's already bal emo. Right, of her, uh, uh, she's already bal emo, the husband of her of her father, bal emo. I said the case of her, bal emo rishon, like at suffix harbla, suffix harbla, umes, the name says, who suffix rush, suffix halutza. The nasa coin, right, the holy me man of Ben. Oh, very good. So this woman. This woman, uh, right, this woman married, right, so, the, so a Cohen married this woman, right, this woman who was a Suffolk, she was a Grusha Amana, and they had a child, the old man had been, so it was Suffolk called, hey, Rabbi Alma Nusa, she'll say, that's why I said it right, she, she, she's kosher. Alma, Mukmina Chazaka, Barmina, Altaf, Sam, Nusafek. You don't know if she's, if he's a Chalal or not, right, to question whether his mother was a Grusha or an Amana, and if he was, a, she was a Grusha, he's a Chalal. If she was an Amana, she was, he's not a Chalal. And now his uh, now this this questionable person, his almana, he married her. Can she can she marry a Kohen or not? Now, if you would ask the Suffolk halal, right? If you would ask the halal, look at Chila, uh, if it's a he's a Suffolk, if he's a halal or not. So you wouldn't let him do kahuna. You wouldn't let him give. You wouldn't give him. Uh, you wouldn't give him uh, uh, to a vote of the base Megiddo. You wouldn't give him truma, etc. But now he married this woman, and now she's an almana. Now he died. Is she marry? Is she a halala? Can she marry? So he says that suffix kasha lakuna. So what do you see over here? Rabbi Rabbi Shua says by a suffix, right? We're not sure. You don't passel her. Amalei. So so Rabbi answered Abaye. Okay, how can you compare the two cases? Hasam isha nisus bodekis when a woman gets married, she checks into the lineage of her prospective uh, fiance. Right? She wants to know. You check out the family. So she, probably she checked it out. And she found out that it, indeed the get probably did not reach the mother, the mother-in-law, right? The mother-in-law. And therefore the woman wasn't divorced. She was an almona and probably checked it out. But over here, what do we speak about this case? And the, the case is on Amaral. Uh, she says, uh, uh, What was the guy you were speaking to? And you were a single woman. She was Mazana. Isha Mazana, but that is Mazana. When a woman is Mazana, she's not checking so carefully, right? She's Mazana. She met somebody and they had Znus. They don't check into the lineage so carefully. When you get married, you check into. So that's what the Gemara says at this point, why it's not a Kashmir Bishu. In other words, an Amad Aleph, we said, and yesterday's Amad Aleph, we said, Rishu says, you don't believe her. Here we see Amad Asisa, even though it's a questionable case, you say that she's kosher. So here also, why don't you say it's a questionable case? Why don't you say that it's kosher? The answer is over there, reason Rabbi, Rabbi Shua says we don't believe her is because when she's Mazana, she doesn't check so carefully. But over here, when she gets married, she would check more carefully. And therefore, the odds are that she's not, uh, she wasn't married to a halal, but she was married to a ben almana. Okay. Amar Rava, Rabbi Shua, Rabbi Shua Kasha, Rabbi Mulia, Rabbi Lo Kasha. You only ask Kasha and Rabbi Shua and Rabbi Shua. Rabbi Shua and our mission says you don't believe her. And here it's Mashma that Almana Sisa is kosher, right? It's kosher. Amar Mokmina Chazaki, you say, you go by Chazaka, you don't know, rule me suffix. So the same thing we wanted to say by Rabbi Shua and Amar Aleph. You give my mouth. Why don't you say, look at a Chazaka? She was a kosher woman when she time she got from the time she was born. Why do you assume that she's puzzle? So he says the difference between znus and marriage. But in Mulil and Mulil is also kasha. Why? What did Mulil say in our mission? You believe her, right? You believe her. You put her on the Chazaka that she was kosher and she's sure she knows what happened to her. Okay. So you believe Rihanna Shiloh is she believed for the child also, but at least she has a chazaka. Muliel says you look at you assume that she's telling the truth. She has a chazaka of kashas. So Muliel lo kasha. Oktani sefer the safe over there says, and then hey Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Yehoshua, Amonas Isa Sheik Sheira, Amalam Muliel Kibal Nuzcham. We accept that you have Adis that you you're telling us a story of that really happened in a court, and the Amonas Isa was allowed to marry a Cohen, right? This Amon of an Isa. In other words, the question whether her husband was a halal or not, uh, and now she's an almana. You let him marry a coin. Of almanas, what she said goes Rabbi Yochum and Zakai. Rabbi Zakai made a decree. Shelo lahoshe best and alkach. You shouldn't paskin la halacha la ma'isa of this. Shah konim shemul la rachik of the kar. The konim, the best of the kohanim, likes to do chumras but not to do kulas. In other words, they want to be. They don't want to be makel. The konim, if the konim in their court would come, so don't, don't, don't set up a best to paskin that way. Because uh, they said that the Kohanim would listen to you for a Chumrah, but not the Kar. What do you want to say over here? 
that a Cohen is coming along to get married. And he comes to the court and says, can I marry this woman? She's an almana of a Suffolk halal. Can I marry this woman? So you say you could, but uh, Rabbi Yochman Zakai said, don't set up a bezin because the Kohen won't listen to you. So what do you see? Here, Mulil is machmer. On Amara yesterday's daf, Mulil says you believe her. Here you see that by you in know, other you believe you go with her chazaka. Over here we don't put the woman in chazaka. Elo Amarava, I'll explain it to you. I'll explain the difference between the cases, both according to Mulil and according to Rishua. Elo Mulil, Elo Amarava, through Mulil and Mulil Kashawai, Hasam Bari Hachashema. Over there, and I'm at Aleph, right? And you give Amad Aleph, what do we say? She was talking, she was secluded with somebody or she got pregnant from somebody. She knows who she was with. She's Bari. She says, I know who I was with. The guy was kosher. The guy was a good guy. So over there, he's a Bari, Hachashema. And over here, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. She wasn't there when the mother-in-law oh. got a get from the father-in-law and doesn't know if it was really a get or not. We don't know. So the Rulio Yakasha, some but there he's Bari. When she's sure, we go with her, what she said. There she's Bari. Bari Vishem Bari Adaf. When she and she has a chazaka, so Bari Vishem Bari Adaf. Hachashem, she's a sure. Uh, she's only she's not sure. Rabbi Shur, Rabbi Shur is also not a kasha. Hasam chad sveka, hacha trei sveka. Listen carefully. Over there, I don't know if there's one suffolk. Was the guy kosher or not? She definitely was with somebody. Was he kosher or not? Hacha trei sveka. Here there's two spekas. Not what is it? Two spekas. So Rashi first says. Then there's a suffix about the mother. Was she a grusha or an almana? That's one suffix. And number two, the suffix is on the husband, on the on her son. Is he a halal or not? Emo she suffix calls that but no suffix. The atzmolo nesra elami suffix, right? The zesh of machmas bena kori la suffix is fex fake. In other words, this this almana, right? This almana almana, but as she, who married a coin, she was a suffix whether she was also the coin or not, right? Whether she was a grusha or almana. And then there was also suffolk on the sun. He calls that spex it It's stuff. really not, well, usually it's not, it's not our kind of spex fake. So Rashi in the first of the wide lines goes on to explain from Rabbi Yosef, I guess that was his name. He found the following, this is what happened. The woman, listen carefully. The woman that we talked about got this get, right? We don't know if it was closer to her or closer to him. So we're not sure if she's divorced or not. Then the husband died. Okay, the husband died. And within three months, you're supposed to wait three months for Afghan Zara. She didn't wait. She married a Cohen. And now the child that she had, Suffolk Halal, Suffolk not, also Suffolk, whose child it is. I understand it's a double Suffolk. Number one, it's a Suffolk whose child it is. If it's a child from the first husband, there's no issue because it's not from the Cohen, right? Not from the Cohen. The Suffolk from the first husband who either died on her or gave her a divorce, even if the you know what I'm saying? If, right? Even, even if he, even if he um, uh, fathered this child after the divorce, so what? So what? Even if he fathered the child, that couldn't, he couldn't father the child after he died, after she gave him an But let's say five, he, Rashi says, even if he fathered the child after he divorced her, there's nothing, the child's not puzzled, not a mamzer. Man divorced his wife, then he had be with her and had a child. So the kid's not, a, not a, it's not a yichus, but it's not a, not a mamzer. So number one, the suffix is whose child it is, right? Is it the child of the first husband or is it the child of the Kohen who could, didn't wait the three months? And even if it's the child of the Kohen, maybe the mother was an almana. That's the Svex Veka. Number one, we don't know whose child it is. Number two, we're talking about this. So the Svex Veka is on the child. This, this boy, this baby, this boy who was born now and married this uh, yeah. woman who eventually uh, died on her. Is she, she's an almana of this Isa, of this mixture of this questionable lineage boy. This is the question is number one, who his father was. If his father was the, the first guy, then there's no problem. If his father was the Kohen, then there's a problem. Why? If the mother was a Grusha, then he's a Halal. The mother was not a Grusha. Not. So that's the Svek Sveka. So we hear Rabbi Shu says, I'll, I'll explain Rabbi Shu. Before we said, you know, it was just based on Znus. Tosa says that here we don't really know. Here we're saying Shema. In other words, here we're saying that the issue over here is we're not really sure. There, there was one stuff of who the guy was. Therefore, we come out like this. If you're sure, if she's sure, we go with it. It's so strong. Even if there's only one stuff of who the guy is, not even Mashri, it's Mashri. The kill a shema, but a shema is such a weak argument that I feel of a spec spec and I'm 
right? Because this is a Svex Veka, this case of the of the um, uh, of the Almana Skisa, the Almana of this boy is a, and this boy is a suffolk, what his status is. It's a Svex Veka. Who is his father? And if his father was a Kohen, was he really the son of a Grusha or was he the son of Almana? So therefore, uh, 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 and, uh, the sve- even though he's only a Shema, even by Svex Veka, Rabbi Gamil says his bustle. Pardon? Shema means possibly, perhaps, possibly. It's a Shema. In other words, Rabbi Galil says like this. Uh, Rabbi Galil says, um, if she's sure, we don't care. Even if it's only one suffix, we believe her. But if she's not sure, but if she's not sure, because in this case, there's no way to know. We don't know if sub- subsequently, there's no way to prove if the get was uh, closer to her or closer to him now many years later. We're talking about where the mother-in-law got this get. We're not sure if she got if she was divorced or not. And now, then she married a Cohen, had a child, and the child might be a halal. And then the child married this woman, and the child died. So we're talking many years later. We don't really know. It's only it's only perhaps we don't know. Shema, he says also puzzle. In other words, if she's sure, we don't care. If even if it's only one stuff, it gets kosher. If she's not sure, even a svek svek is puzzle. Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Yeshua says no. One suffix is strong. Rabbi Yeshua, who said on, on Gimel Meralev, even though one suffix is even if she's sure, one suffix, one suffix, if it's only one suffix, she's possible. The kill a svex feka, if it's only svex feka, that's more, that's lighter, less of a stricture. Even though she's not sure, Nami Mashi is Mashi there too. That's the Machlok Supreme Yeshua and the Muliel. And that's what the little Tosa says, the small, the one line Tosa says, like we said before to answer Bishua, she's not sure. You're not really sure what, what the status is. So we don't say she's checked, she's checked. We're saying she's not sure. That's what the answer is now. That's how we're explaining my real and Bishua. Back to this issue of Almanasisa. Is Almanasisa. What's the case of Manasisa? In other words, as we explain, what's the suffix over here or the Svex Feka? What is the status of this boy? Right, this boy whose mother possibly got a divorce, or maybe she's just an almana. She's for sure her husband's dead, right? And then her husband, then afterwards, she married a Cohen. So is her son a halal or not? That's number. So, so the, Cohen look when he said in Rashi or not? Either way, either way. Even even without the case in Rashi, even just assume that it's a suffolk, that it's one suffolk, right? Suffolk is is this guy a halal or not? So Dharma Rabbana Ezu Almana Sisa. The only, what's, what's this almanasis that we talk about that's kosher? So the Tanakhama says over here, we're gonna, it's going to be complicated to explain the Machlokas. He says, listen, almanasis that we said she's allowed to marry a Kohen. There's no suffix of Mamzeris or Nasinus, we're not Jewish, or is a Mamzer is not a Kohen. All these people cannot marry into the Jewish family, into the Kaal. A mamzer or an asin or avdim lachem. Avdim lachem means like avodim, but he just gave an example of lachem because the avdim shloma were very rich and powerful, like Hordas, and they came out from there and they married Jewish women. So they're not allowed to marry Jewish women. So, but if there's a suffix, if they did, then that's no good. Almanas Isa is where the only suffix is like halal. Is he a halal or not? Now, there's a clear difference between these guys, these guys an asin or a mamzer or an abit, cannot marry any Jew, not marry a, a Jewess at all, right? Whereas a halal can marry anybody. Halal can marry anybody. He's not usher, just that he can't do kahuna. And if he marries an, a, a woman, then his wife is a halal. She can't marry a kohen, but they can marry into the tzibur. Okay. So, so Tanakhama says, I'm going to say, sir, that we allow her to marry a kohen. Is speaking of where the only suffix is, is he a halal? But if not, it's a suffix of mamzerus and a sirsum shemir. Omar of Mayor. Mayor says, I heard, shamati. You don't have one of these problems, you can marry off the corner. So the Gemara is going to say, by the way, what's the mission of man Tanakama? Tanakama also says that if there's no issue of Mamzerus or Nasin or a Rebbed, then we allow them to get married. The only suffix is if you halal, suffix now. If it's Vade halal, then you can't marry Cohen. But if the only suffix halal, we allow. And Rameir parent parent says the same thing. You can marry him off the corner. Okay. We're not sure now how Rameir disagrees. Shimon Lazar Amar Mishum Rameir. Shimon Lazar says in the name of Rameir, Bechenu Havei Rav Shimonat, Bechenu Rav Shimonasi Amar Kitvara. He says a different sheet in Rameir. Ezu, what does he say? Ezu Almanas Isa. What's Almanas Isa? Kol Shenitma Bas Suffolk Halal. Where got mixed Nitma means mixed up. Got mixed in there a Suffolk of Halal. Why? Because Makim Yisrael Mamzerim Shibaneim. 
people know where the mamzer are. You don't have to worry if there's a mamzer. Generally, there's a good uh, records of that. People know who they are. They stay away. We don't recognize who the halalim are because people are not so careful about checking out who's a halal and who's not. Now, the Gemara is going to say, what do you mean? This seems to indicate that we have to worry about a halal. Before you said, if it's a Suffolk halal, no problem. No, no problem. That's Amonis Isa. Now, this second sheet to in Rameir, Shem Lazar or Shem Manasya in Rameir says, what's Amonis Isa kosher with Suffolk halal? Why? And that's a problem because people know who the Mamzeim are, they don't know the halal of Mars. If to say that if it's a Suffolk halal, cannot marry into Kuna. So now the Gemara is going to ask on this price. Amr Mar. Repeating the price here now. Hachalal, it's a suffix halal, it's kosher. Okay, what do you mean? Maishnahanach the raisa, halal nami the raisa, both of you are in the raisa. Why do you say these are suffix the raisa? You can't marry a mom, you can't marry a sin, you can't marry a guy, you can't marry an abed. That's the raisa. Halal is also a raisa. Why do you say the suffix there, suffix halal is okay to marry a kona? Why? It's 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 also an issue daraisa. That's one question. Basu, Basu, Um Rameir, Shamati, Rameir says Shamati Kosha in Baecha Mikolay Lumasin Lakuna, Hayana Tanakam, same stuff Tanakam. You don't have one of these problems, you can marry coin. Basu, Rabshimna Lazar, Um Rishim Rameir, Bachan Rabshim Nasi, Um Rabshim, the last part of the issue, the third cheetah. Azio, Manasisa, Kosha, and Basafa Kalal. Unless he's if it's if you got mixed up stuff with halal, because my king is strong, I'm zeven shabbatim. The aim of king halal shabbatim is if to say that since we don't know the halal more, we got to be careful with them. Mashma that it's also we should stuff with halal, right? Stuff with halal is mashma that it would be possible. In the first part, we say halal would be kosher. Since stuff with halal is not possible, that's also a dal raisa, right? We should have one post them in our Torah, but bia. So why should a stuff with also be a stuff with dal raisa? You should go to chumrah. And 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 what's from Shimon Asi is saying in the name of Rameir, that uh, if we don't know who the halal are, we got to be careful. Bahamut Reisha, halal kosher. You said it's up and halal kosher. So what's going on over here? What's the three machlokes? I'm Rabbi Yochanan. I'll explain it. Mamzer tzavach v'chalal shosikik minayo. The difference between them, between the Tanakam and Rameir, between Rameir's first shita and the second shita in Rameir, is a case where you call a guy a mamzer and he protests. He protests. And, or, in a case where, and in a case where you call a guy a halal, and he's silent. He shows it. He's quiet. Now, um, what would happen in shul? I'm sure it never happened. But let's say in shul, somebody got angry and called another guy a mamzer. Right. Okay. That's, one, that's one problem for you about the shul. But would the guy answer, I am not a mamzer? Right? The guy wouldn't say, I'm not a mamzer. Everybody knows he's not a mamzer. Calling a mamzer because you're just angry or screaming at him, or, or, or maybe you really do think that. But people aren't going to say, no, I, I have proof of you, I'm not a mamzer. Right? So that's the issue over here. A, a mamzer who, who, who protests, or what do we mean by that? Tanakama Sabar, what, what was the first question we asked? We asked, uh, I understand, if it's a question about a mamzer or a sin or a ved, that's a problem. But if it's a question about halal, not. No, no, no. Tanakama Savar called Psulo the Korula Vishasik Pasul. Any Psul, and that the person's quiet, he acquiesces. You call him a Mamzer, or you call him an Evan, or you call him a Halal, and he doesn't protest. You have to assume the worst. He is. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about the Amonas Isa. Amonas Isa is what's, what's the case of Amonas Isa again? Where we don't know if his mother got was divorced or not. Right, and then she married a Kohen, and he might be a halal if she was divorced or not. That's a case of suffix. That's okay. That we're allowed. That kind of a suffix. That we know the suffix. We know the suffix. We assume that it's okay, right? We assume it's okay. Maybe she checked it out. Whatever. That's a suffix. The halal. We're not that machmer, and we allow the Kohen to marry the almana of that of that suffix halal. That's okay. Where do we say that it's possible? Is if you call a guy a halal and he's quiet, hey halal, and he doesn't say anything. Should say, I'm not a halal. I'm not a halal. What do you think I'm a halal? I can do it. I'm a Kohen too, just like the rest of these guys, right? You call him a halal, and there are halalim, right? There are halalim. Kohen marries a grusha, child's a halal. It's not supposed to do it, right? But here, here, so if any part, so the Tanakama holds, even though the Tanakama said, and I'm a, what do you say? Eze al Manasisa, no question of Mamzer, Nasin, of the Malachim, halal also. He just didn't list them all out. But halal also. In other words, he says, 
if you call a guy a mamzer or an asin or an evet or a halal and he's quiet, no good. That means he acquiesced, he agreed. And therefore, that would be puzzle. They would all be puzzle. Puzzle either if their moms can't marry any Jew, if their halal couldn't marry a Kohen, a, Basca, a Kohen couldn't marry, would ruin a Kohen from marrying, and he wouldn't be able to eat etc. That's what we mean over here. Moms are several Kohen Shasik, you can Tanakama serve a Kopsu, the Kohen Shasik puzzle. That's puzzle. Bachi Kama Tanakama. Ezu Yal Manas Isa. What's on Manas Isa that we say is okay to marry a Kohen? Kosha Ein Ba. Losha took Mamzeris, Losha took Nazis, Losha took Abdim Lachem, Losha took Halal. Amanas Isa is, well, is where you don't have this question where you call the guy something and he acquiesced. That would be a problem. Amanas Isa is not a problem. It's not a question we called him. He, 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 this, that, the, the issue of, 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 of Amanas Isa is the complicated case of the Suffolk Rusha, Suffolk Almana, and then she married a Kohen. And this is the, that's, not the, that's not what we're talking about. Well, uh, uh, a halal that we're talking about, that uh, 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 what's a, a monasisa? A monasisa is where you don't have this problem. This problem would be you call a guy a halal and he's quiet. That's a problem. That's a problem. So if he didn't have that problem, but rather he just had the problem that who the who were the, who were the mother was like, did it get it or an almana, that is okay. But if you have one of these problems, that would be a problem. So the Tanakama server called the psulo, called psul, the coral of a shasik, possible, Vachakama Tanakama. There's no issue of a shituk mamzeris, you call them a mamzer and he's quiet. Or in a sinus and you call them a harj, or you call them an evet and he was quiet. The Kamala Rameh or Rameh said to him, no. Hanachu, the, the first three, Hanachu, the Kapasalei, the Kal, those, if you call them in a sin or a mamzer or an evet, that's a problem because he can't marry any, he can't marry into the Jewish family at all. But if you call them a halal and he was quiet, that doesn't prove that he's really a halal. Kosher. What, is he, what do I care? What do I care? It's not a big deal. So I, uh, you know, I'm a halal. Halal can marry anybody. A halal can marry a bas kohen. Halal can marry anybody. Just that his kids are going to be a halal too, right? But he can marry anybody. He says, ah, ma'ach So he says that, that, that's what he means. So Rameir disagrees with that comment. He says, kosher ein b'achem masin lakuna shamati. I heard if you don't have one of those three that you mentioned. Remember the Tanakh mentioned three, but he didn't mention halal. So uh, a, a, you call him a halal and he was quiet, but he cl- includes that too. And Mary says, no, those three, I agree with you. If you called him one of those three and he was quiet, then you got a problem because he should have protested. But if he called him a halal, eh, he didn't care. But Kamala, Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar said that Tanakama, the Rameyer, not that a Tanakama, the Tanakama, the kind of a mayor who just said that the other three is a problem if you're quiet, but uh, it's not a problem if you're quiet. Uh, it is a problem if you're quiet, rather. But if you call them a halal, and he's quiet. It's not a problem because he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He says, Mach Basli. What do you, you know, In other words, if you called him a halal and he was quiet, he didn't care about it. He doesn't care what you say. So, so what? You called me a halal, big deal. You're not ruining me. So he didn't answer. Shimon Lazar, and they said, according to the town of Rameir, no. If you heard the Rameir is Machsha by Shtika when he was quiet, he says, Rameir says, Remember, the Tanakama said when you were shot, when you were quiet on any of them, that's that's one acquiescence that you are one of those things, and that's a problem, a puzzle. But Mayer says no, only the first three, but not the last one. That the other shita, of Shimon Lazar, of Shimon in Rameir says no. If you heard the Rameir said shtik is okay, lo the korle chalal v'shatik, el the korle mamzer v'shatik. You call them a mamzer, and he's quiet. Like I said before, you call somebody a mamzer today. You call him a mamzer because you're angry at him, or he's a jerk, or you're saying something like you don't really mean he's a mamzer. El the korle mamzer v'shatik. I had a shush, except for Mamzer calls. Everybody knows who's a Mamzer. Everybody knows I'm not a Mamzer. Doesn't mean that. I have a Mamzer Pitzavach, right? If, if, but a Mamzer, I have a Mamzer Pitzavach. If you call him a Mamzer and he says, I'm not, <laughs> that's a problem. That's a problem. Because if he protests, me thinks, me thinks he protests too much, right? Right? <laughs> right? Right? If you call him a Mamzer and he, and he protests, or Halal, or you call him Halal and he acquiesces, he's silent. That's puzzle. Why? The reason he was quiet is because he really is a halal. Not because I gave a suffer. All right, at least they didn't kick me out of the Jewish family. I'm a halal, but I can marry Jewish family. Who's guilty? If he protests, he's a man. If he keeps quiet, he's a man. Oh, no, no. If he, he's saying like this if he keeps quiet, the first sheet in Rameir says, First sheet of mayor says that, um, uh, I mean, the second sheet of mayor says, no, 
If you call him a mamzer and he's quiet, it's because he knows that it's meaningless. That's why he's quiet. The first sheet says, the Tanakama and Romero says, yes, if you call him a mamzer and he's quiet, it's an acquiescence that he's, that he's a mamzer. The second sheet, the, the, the for Tanakama says you can call anybody anything and they acquiesce and quiet. Romero says, no, the, the, you call him a mamzer or a sin or an evad and he's quiet, that's an acquiescence. But if you call him a halal, he doesn't really care. He doesn't really care if you call him a halal. In other words, he doesn't care because you're not ruining him from the kahal anyway, right? And the, the last sheet in Romero says that just the opposite. You call him any of the first three, everybody knows he's not an evad. Everybody knows he's not a sin, he's not a mom. So it's meaningless. He doesn't kind of doesn't care because everybody knows it's meaningless. Why? Uh, why? Because some of moms are colorless like of a moms of a cholo b'shevi. If he protests or if he's quiet when he called the halal, then he is puzzled. He's he's puzzled with those psula moms are and 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 halal respectively. Behind the ishtik, the reason he's quiet. Some of the reason he's quiet when he called him a halal. Is because some of them said, "Well, after he said, kick me out of the out of the Jewish nation." Those I can still marry. I, I can. I'm the halal, but I can't marry. I can marry anybody, but my I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a coin. So he says that's what. It's enough that they didn't call me that. So that's the machlokus over here. The machlokus is when you call somebody a name and they're quiet. What is their status? The Tana comes and you call him anything, and he acquiesces. He's quiet. It's an acquiescence. Or mayor says it's only an acquiescence in the bad ones. But halal, he doesn't care so much. The last time he says, no, it's just the opposite. The bad ones, he, he's quiet because he knows it's not true. Everybody knows he's not an Evan. Somebody says, you're an Evan. Everybody knows it's not true, so he didn't bother. If he protests, that's the opposite. That's bad. Because he protests, that shows that he, he feels that he has to defend himself, that maybe he is really. Or if you call him a halal and he's quiet, because he says, okay, at least I'm not, not worse than that. And that's an acquiescence. That's the machlok of there. Tani chada, one bride, he's of Yossi Omer, shetok mamzer, Kosher, Shatuk Halal Puzzle. If you call them a Mamzer and he's quiet, he's kosher. Call them a Halal and he's quiet, that's Puzzle. That was like the last sheet we just said, the Tanya Idach. The other bride says, Shatok Halal is kosher. Shatok Mamzer is Puzzle. Lo Kasha, Tanakamari, Amir Mayor, Adab Shimra Lazar, Alibur Mayor. The first price quoted here is of Shimra Lazar, Alibur Mayor. The second price quoted of Shatok Halal, Kosher, and Shatok Mamzer is Puzzle. Shatok Mamzer is Puzzle. That's the first sheet in Rameir. It says the Mishnah Rabbi Yossi Mice, we talked about a story with a young girl, Jewish girl, she ordered a and She went down to the, to the well to draw some water. Obviously, it was a quiet place, not a lot of people there. Venensa, she was raped. If most of the people in the city, most of the people are people who could marry a woman without ruining her from marrying a coin, those who would marry them off to a coin, right? Um, uh, if most of the sea, Rovi Yer Kshayim Lahasib and Osayim Valma Osayim Lakuna, Shayim Rovi Yer Pam and Absulim. So Harezu Tinas Lakuna, this girl from Mary Kong, if we assume she came from the majority of the city, that the rapist came from the majority of the city who was kosher. That's what he says. It depends. If most of the city was kosher people, meaning people who, if they would marry a woman, would not ruin her from marrying a Kohen, then you can assume they raped also. Now, so it says you can go bust of the road. Amalei Rabba Rab Nachman Rabbi Yochanan Nuri Damakaman Rabbi Yochanan Nuri say who what did he paskin? If most of the city are kosher people, then this woman can marry even though she was raped. She can marry a coin. But uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, nobody says that. Uh, you know what happened? She was a single little a young girl. She was raped, so she can marry. Normally, she can marry any other Jew. There's not a question about marrying a Jew now, but the question can marry a coin. If she was raped by somebody who you're not allowed to marry, like a mamzer. Or in a sin, or an evet, or a goy, then there would be a problem. She can't marry a coin. Rebbe says, if most of the city are kosher, she can marry even a coin. Only Rebbe of Nachman, Rebbe Yochman, Rebbe Yochman. Who did he go like when he passed it up? Ikram, if he goes like a mulil, you believe her, right? So I feel Rebbe Zulon Nami Machshur. Even if most of the people are puzzled, you believe her when she says that she was raped by a kosher person. Ikram Yeshua, if you go to Yeshua, I feel Rebbe of Cherim Nami Pasul. Rebbe Yeshua says. And we don't believe Lomi Pionachayan. We don't believe her. It was different in the case of Amaras Isa, right? That was a Svex Faker, like we said. That's different. But over here, it's a Svex Faker. So, so she was Mako over there. But in the case of where she was simply raped by somebody and she says, Well, I knew the guy was kosher, we don't believe her. So, who's Rabbi Yochum and Nuri going? Rabbi Yochum says, If most of the city was kosher, it's okay. If he also can leave, even if most city is not kosher, it's okay. You believe her. And if you go like a Mishua, then even if most city is kosher, also you don't believe her. On the lay, so Rav Nachman answered. Okay, I'm a beautiful. This is what even Rav said. 
that it really, Rashi explains it's going like Rabbi Yeshua, who says it's possible. But over here, there's a double rogue. There's a double rogue. The Chrono So the story was, the story was, um, uh, the, I mean, the there was a story like this. Chrono So Sipari. was a Jewish town, but there was also the, uh, the Yom Hashuk, the market day. And Kronos, probably Kronos means caravans or wagons would come from all over the entire area. And they came. Ukuravami, the Ravami says, The people passing by, in other words, it's not only a Jewish town, but the people who came from out of town also were kosher, but also were mostly kosher. And that, right? If she was uh, raped or uh, she was, uh, uh, she had Dia, in the wagons, she's kosher. It was uh, kosher lakuna. So it's more of a chronos like that. What do you mean in the wagons? Mean in the wagons. El Nivel doesn't mean like in the marketplace she had via. El Nivel's pshas kronos. At the time of the market, share was lakuna. Right? Rabbi Yannis said kosher lakuna. Right? Meaning, so there was, because over here, the idea, there was a double row. There was a row from the city. Most of the Jews in the city were kosher. And most of the people at the market were also kosher. But let's say they knew that one of the rapists came from the city, then a Vlad Stuki, then the Vlad is questionable. We don't know his lineage. He said it not from Rabdimi, but system Sam Rafanino, Hokarach Rafa here, but ain't Hokarach Rafsia. You go according to most of the city, but not after most of the group of travel groups. What do you mean? Copy light, where are you going with just the opposite? As we're going to talk about soon, well, tomorrow's morning we'll get into this. We have a cloud called the Parish Maruba Parish. If a guy came from, the, from a group, right, it probably came out of the majority. But if he if, uh, came from, the, from a fixed place, and a fixed place is 50 50. So, Hani Naidi, they were just the opposite. The ones who came, who were traveling, they are moving around. So, they, they're not in a fixed place. And the ones in a fixed place is 50 50. Even you don't look at what the majority is. Even if it's ten times as many Jews, it's 50-50 that it was uh, by a goy or by somebody that was that she was raped by somebody who wasn't uh, wasn't kosher. If it came from uh, some that separated out from someplace, they didn't they weren't in a fixed place, but they came. They were uh, parished. They were they were removed from that fixed place. Uh, then you go according to the majority. So what do you mean when you say It's just the opposite. You you the sia is better. Does you go both both to the city if there's also rov of the sia rov of the of the group that's traveling through. In other words, it's a double rov here. There's a rov of the city and the rov of the of the group. grace, but you don't go out after most of the city alone. Okay, why time? Again, okay, we'll see why. My time exam rov sia out to rov ear. Okay. So we'll, we'll stop here because we're going to get into this business about the robe and the and the called the Kavur But the idea over here is this: the Mishnah said that Rabbi Yochanan said if she was raped and most of the city was kosher, she can marry a coin. The Gemara says, "What do you mean? According to Malil, you don't need most of the city to be kosher, and according to Rabbi Yeshua, even most of the city is kosher." Not good the answer is there's a double. We're speaking about there's a market. There were two robes over here: this robe of the city and robe of the people traveling through. And a double robe, even Rabbi Yehuda agrees that. Uh, that she's kosher, that you believe her, that she was raped by somebody who was kosher, and and uh, and she's kosher to marry a coin. All right, we'll pick him here from this uh, this discussion tomorrow. Mr. Shah. Extraordinary.